Here we are at 235 Kenwood, Dayton, Ohio. We're going to check this house out. And the fact that it's side by side is not only going to pay you today, it's going to pay you for the long haul. You see, you're going to get higher rents, okay? That's one thing, right? 950 a unit should be what you're going to get on the side by side, right? Three ones here, okay? But it's bigger than that, y'all. It's more important than that. It's more important than the higher level of rent today. The thing is, when you have a side by side duplex, your tenants typically stay longer. So you guys could see if uh, landlord A has an up down duplex and their tenancies are lasting like on average 2.5 years and landlord B has a side by side duplex and their tenancies are averaging like four and a half years, landlord B is always, always, always going to make more money than landlord A. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. Man, if I have the opportunity to buy a duplex and I have the option to go with a side-by-side -side or an up-down, up-down, side-by-side, I'm going side-by-side -side every time, y'all. And I got one for you. 235 Kenwood Avenue, Dayton, Ohio, okay? And this thing is going to be a bird deal for y'all. It's coming to you at the bare minimum price point, 64.9. Man, that's a bottom end price point for this particular neighborhood, right? Obviously, you're going to need to be well over 100K to pick up a property like this in this area if it's turnkey. But this is anything but turnkey, okay? Uh, it's going to need some love, right? You see from the outside... Going to have to side that or paint that. Then you get into the inside and you see you're going to have to do like a full-on cosmetic renovation, okay? You're also going to need to do hot water tanks, furnaces, and the roofs, okay? Furnaces, you're looking like 35 hundo. Hot water tanks, probably about 15 hundo, okay? You're going to need to get some electrical repairs, this or that. But it's going to be worth it, y'all, because when you're done with it, you're going to have a fully turnkey side-by-side -side duplex bringing in like 1900 in rent, almost $2,000 a month in rent. And the fact that it's side-by-side, -side, is not only going to pay you today, it's going to pay you for the long haul. You see, you're going to get higher rents, okay? That's one thing, right? 950 a unit should be what you're going to get on the side-by-side, -side, right? Three ones here, okay? But it's bigger than that, y'all. It's more important than that. It's more important than the higher level of rent today. The thing is, when you have a side-by-side -side duplex, your tenants typically stay longer okay a side-by-side -side duplex like this one feels more like a house it's a bigger space and noise from tenant to tenant does not transfer as much and that means fights anger aggression nonsense between your two tenants doesn't happen as much right one of the biggest flaws or drawbacks to being an investor who buys duplexes, who manages duplexes, who has duplex tenants, and y'all, I've had thousands of duplex tenants in my life, okay? Literally thousands of them. Them motherfuckers fight each other. They fight each other a lot, okay? And that annoys you, right? Because you got to deal with it. Now, if you're someone who's like, oh, that's cool, don't matter, I'm just going to hire me a property manager, they could deal with it. Yeah, sure, that's fine. That's fine. The property manager will deal with it on your behalf. That is one thing. But you got to understand, number one, when property managers have to deal with stuff on your behalf, that means they're charging you to deal with it, right? Like, yo, as a property manager, I'll fix any problem you got. For money, I will fix no problems for free, right? So every problem is going to be a dollar sign to you, right? And then when your cash flow is going down, that then becomes your problem, even though you're not directly dealing with it. That's one issue. But the second issue, perhaps the bigger issue, the more important issue, is eventually when these tenants are fighting all the damn time that leads them uh to not wanting to live next to each other and you're going to see more frequent turnovers more frequent turnovers mean you have to re-renovate the unit not to the extent you need to do right now obviously but you got to do your unit turns you're missing a month or two of rent you have to pay the leasing fee right so you guys could see 
if uh, landlord A has an up-down duplex and their tenancies are lasting like on average 2.5 years and landlord B has a side-by-side -side duplex and their tenancies are averaging like four and a half years, landlord B is always, always, always going to make more money than landlord A, even if landlord B wasn't getting more rent than landlord A. But you also get the cherry on top that you do get more rent with the layout like this, right? So the rent is great, but the real value is the fact that your tenants are going to stay higher, or stay longer, rather, which is going to make your ROI much, much higher, more high. It's going to increase it more than that additional rent, right? So from here, y'all, all you really got to do is figure out specifically how much it's going to cost you to take the property from where it is today in need of a full-on renovation to getting it completely turnkey, ready to go, ready to bring in that $1,900 a month. If you're an out-of-state investor, you want to make your offer, that's fine. It could be contingent on an inspection, and you can get uh, your contractor, your property manager, uh, whomever it is to give you that estimate to get it rent ready. We could do that. You'll send your offer, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to get that person, those contractors in, or if you're a local guy or girl in Dayton and you want to get in prior to making that offer, that is not a problem. Same thing. Send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you send me an email before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I will get you into this property the same day. If you hit me up after 5 o'clock, I'm possibly drinking some beer because because that is beer 30, so I might have to get you in there the very next day, right? You could do all the due diligence you need, put together your complete line-by-line -line bid. Then uh, you could go ahead and submit the offer, sales at holtonwise.com. Of course, we're only going to be accepting cash offers right now, or if you want, you could use private money, hard money, a fix-and-flip loan, uh, some type of short-term bridge loan. We're not going to want to do conventional loans right now because it's all types of beat up, right? It's obviously not... Uh, livable, right? That's for the burst strategy. You could pull that money out later, right? Y'all know the burst strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? So if you're thinking you could do a conventional loan on this right now, you cannot. Cash, hard money, private, stuff like that. If you guys need those types of lenders, we even have the conventional lenders that will refi your money back out so you can burr it. Uh, but if you need the other private hard money investment loans, we have all those too. Just ask us. We'll give those to you. And then uh, you'll be able to renovate it and then pull your money back out and buy another and another and another. Because the Dayton market, y'all, one of the best cash flow markets in the USA. We are in landlord-friendly Ohio, a red state, not like that communist nation California or that dirty shithole Portland, okay? And the pricing, as you see, is insane, right? Like, what would the 1% rule be? The 1% rule would dictate you buy this property for 190 k Nah, nah, nah. You're going to be all in for way, 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 way under 190 k I mean, what are you going to be all into this thing for? Around like 100, maybe 110 or so after you get it all put together, y'all? Think about it. That's why people from all over the country are coming to Dayton, Ohio. We got the properties. We got the financing. You let us know what you need. Sales at HoltonWeiss.com. Let's go. Here we are at 235 Kenwood, Dayton, Ohio. We're gonna check this house out. Neighboring houses are uh, pretty nice. Not terrible by any means, but let's go in here and check this place out. Got our uh, Holton Wise sign up here. Let's go inside and see what we got going on. Wow. Nice fireplace. Really nice fireplace. This place actually looks like it's in pretty good condition from what I'm seeing so far. The first uh, three feet in the door here. Nice wood trim, nice woodwork. Going in here to the, looks to be a dining room. My staircase. Let's check this out. Go into the kitchen here. Looks like it's had a, had a drop ceiling in.
closet area and the area looks like they got the fridge in. Let's check it out here. So take a look around. Let's go uh really large storage closet. Let's check out the upstairs. solid staircase sorry about the uh, finger in the way there <laughs> bathroom over here looks like there's actually a new tub and surround somebody was actually putting some work into this thing Bedroom in here. Nice closet. Seems like a pretty solid house. A nice little bedroom here. A long hallway. It's gonna need a little ceiling work in here done. This closet, windows, <clears throat> window view of the front of the house. Check it out there. So, ceiling work needs done. But overall, not uh, not too terrible by many means. Stairwell's pretty solid. Stairs are pretty solid. Nothing shaky. There's a view from the stairwell. Looking into the living room. We've got dining room here. We already went over. Creaky old stairs. Let's see if we can check out the basement. Pretty solid stairs. So far. Old like boiler looking system. I don't know. Wood burner style furnace. I don't know. Basement. Uh, Definitely could use some work. Pretty wet down here. Definitely needs cleaned up and uh, needs some patchwork done on the walls and stuff. Other than that, get up out of there. Don't see any kind of water heat or anything down there. I'm not sure what's going on. But. Go take a look. Uh, I mean, this is a really nice little living room here. Really nice fireplace, high ceilings. <laughs> Woodwork's actually still pretty clean. No dings on it from what I see or anything, so it's definitely salvageable. Go take a look out here. And I'll start the next video outside. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.